Warning. Warning. You know, machine control companies stop by all the time to visit us, and of course they want to sell us their control, but one of the first things they always say is our control is just like a FANUC. Well, if that's the case, why wouldn't we just use FANUC? One of the questions we're commonly asked here at Laguna Tools is how long does a CNC router last? Well, let's break that down a little bit. First off, if you look at the individual components, the frames are all welded structural steel, heat treated, uh, the same material bridges are made out of, all right, the motion control components, and that those are contour guide rails, um, precision ball screws, helical rack and pinions, those are also top of the line, as good as anybody in the world uses. So those things basically will last indefinitely, also when you consider anything that wears bolts on. So you replace your brake pads, you can replace a bearing truck, and it's, it's pretty much that simple. But when we get into the machine control, it's a different issue. The other major parts of the machine are the control parts. And the control parts are the base machine control, the drives that drive the servo motors, the servo motors, and all the communications cables that fit between. And that's why we selected FANUC. If you want a machine tool that's going to last a long time, that control system has to be uh, very well made. The average breakdown time on a FANUC component is 32 years. So if you want to build a machine tool that lasts a long time, FANUC is the way to go. FANUC controls are so widely used in the metalworking industry and have been for decades. There are companies that just service FANUC controls. So you can get service on a FANUC control anywhere in the world. You know, our motto at Laguna Tools is thriving on innovation, and, and we've done very well through the years at that. As we developed the Smart Shop 3, we wanted a platform that was a step above our flagship CNC routers, which are the Smart Shop 2s. So to, to achieve that level, they had to have unbelievable performance, and, and that's one of the reasons we went to the FANUC controls, because they could deliver that. Now let's talk about what that performance really is. There's a lot of misinformation that floats around in this topic. You really look at speed in two ways. What are the rapid speeds? In other words, how far, when I'm above the material, how fast does it move from here to here? And that's called rapid speeds. And, and technically, that's a very small percentage of the overall machining time. We set up the Smart Shop to reach to rapid at 2,500 inches a minute. But the real speed is not that. The real speed is the cutting speed when you're actually cutting wood with a router bit. Okay, on our first demonstration, we cut a nest of closet parts, and the reason we did that is because closets by nature have a lot of drilling because there's a lot of adjustable shelf holes, and that really gave you an opportunity to see how quick the machine moved around as it drilled, and also how fast it was in and out of corners. So that was the first presentation. There's another scenario of CNC routing that has to do with curves. You know, the real way to judge a CNC router's performance is watch how it manipulates curves. Now, think about this. What happens when you're machining curves? All these axes are moving simultaneously, they're speeding up, they're slowing down, and it takes a real powerful machine control to do that quickly. That's a concept that I call quickness. When you watch it, the machine just looks, looks quick as it goes around those, those contours. Now, think about this. You got a curvy road, maybe it's a mountain road, you got two vehicles. One's a sports car, one's a dump truck. All right? And you say, okay, the speed limit's 100 miles an hour. So occasionally the sports car might get up to 100 on that curvy road. The dump truck never gets over, it never gets over 25 or 30 miles an hour. So even though you said, oh, yeah, I've programmed both these at 100 miles an hour, which one wins? Machine controls are the same thing. A high quality, powerful machine control is that sports car. And that's what this FANUC control package does for the Smart Shop 3s. Now to illustrate this concept, let's go back to the machine and let's cut a nest that has a lot of curvy parts.
Wow, what a beautiful part. Oh, the edges are just perfect. Wow, I can't believe it went through those curves so fast. Boy, you can really tell it's a fan at control. Wow. You know, I wanted to do a demonstration of something that had a lot of curves in it to really show you the power of a fan at control. You may wonder what this is. Let me introduce you to my friend, T-Rex. Here's what we actually produced. The Fanic controls are standard on the Laguna Smart Shop 3 and Smart Shop 4 CNC routers. The Smart Shop 3 is available at all the standard sizes, 4 foot by 4 foot, 4 by 8, 5 by 10, 5 by 12, and custom sizes as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, you can probably tell how excited I am about this new innovative control that we've put on the Smart Shop 3. If you have any questions, call us at 1-800-234-1976 or you can reach us on the internet at www.lagunatools.com. Thank you for watching.